Today I'm going to be teaching you how to get a background for your iPod video. What you want to do is you want to go into Firefox and you find the picture that you want. I'm using this. After that, you want to go into iPod Wizard. You open up your firmware and open up the 5.5G um, Ultimate Background Hack and you want to scroll down until you see the background your background for your iPod I think it is 140 something I'm not sure oh never mind it was 138 this is what it looks like right now you wanna save it and I'm just going to put it on my desktop because it's easier, but you can put it wherever you want as long as you can open it somewhere in Photoshop. So I'm going to put that right there. After that, you go into Adobe Photoshop and, um, and you open up the picture. Click the wrong thing. Adobe Silverback. Alright, um, after that you want to try to find the, um, the picture, which is right here. Click open. Alright, so you want to open another one that is green and try to find the picture where you, where you saved it from Google I know where I saved it something just went crazy wrong here uh, yeah, I figured out what went wrong. I pressed the wrong button. Then you want to go to the original background picture and you want to press Control Alt I. And as you can see, it's 320 the width. So after you're done, you go to the background. So now it's like the perfect size, so you want to click save. Er, save as. Where I saved it was on here. And I don't know exactly what kind of file it is. So I'm gonna have to search around through here. Something. Oh, it's a dot PMP. This is it right here. We'll click save. 
replace it, yeah. Shut up, you mother. Okay, something just retarded went on. Edit. I'm just gonna do this this way because this way kind of seems easier for me. So copy. And go in here. Image. Yeah. Image. And no, I don't know what's going on. Paste. And that will go right over there. So now all you have to do is just click save. Oh wait, hold on, I forgot to do one thing. You wanna go to layer, merge, visible. And then go to save. Now it should save normally. So now, if you want to load the bitmap now, so I'm just going to choose this right here. It's the one that we used before. So there's the thing that I wanted. So what you want to do is you want to press right to iPod. Phone continuing. Yeah, you just read that stuff. What not? You just click yes, and it should change the background it says successfully done so when you unplug your iPod it should restart your whole iPod like normally and it should be like normal with your background on the back all right if you need any help just like comment